Hey everyone, my name is Kirsten Waters and I'm an applications engineer at CAD Micro Solutions. Today I'm going to be showing you guys one of our partner products, SWOOD, and in particular I'll be explaining the SWOOD CAM module to you. The part that we have before us has some surfaces that require both three axis and five axis toolpath operations. So let's get started programming this part. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to navigate over to our SWOOD CAM tab in our feature manager. And we want to select this button called program settings. This is going to initiate a new routing program for us. And the next step would just be to select whatever machine or post processor that we'll be using. So once our machine tool is selected, we can go ahead and we can set our fixture coordinate system. So the very next button over called origins is where I'm going to select a user defined coordinate system. The first step is I'll select a vertex on my part that I want to place the origin. Next, I'll select my Z at machining axis direction. And I'll just use the arrows to flip that. And I'll select a line on my part to indicate X. And I'll have to flip X as well. Now that X, Y, and Z are all set, I can go ahead and I can validate this coordinate system. So our three axis and our five axis operations are all going to be created inside OP0. The next step is to insert some tools into our program. So I can see on the right hand side that I have a SWIDCAM library tab. I'm actually going to select the tools that I want. So the first selection is my roughing 18 millimeter end mill. And then I'm just going to just drag that tool right into my SOLIDWORKS graphics window. I can see now that it's been placed inside my program. I'm also going to grab a spherical cutter for our finishing operation. I'll just drag that in as well. Now we're ready to add in our first toolpath. So I'm going to add in my three axis roughing, but without selecting anything on my part, I'm simply going to select at the top from the command manager 3D milling. So SWIT is going to automatically detect the volume of my SOLIDWORKS part. I can select next my end mill, and then lastly the machining operation I want to add. And we have our only option available, which is roughing. So now I have my operations parameter dialog opened up and I can adjust some settings inside my toolpath. I'm just going to update our max depth of cut and I'll press enter to see the updated visual in the graphics window below. Then I can press OK to validate this toolpath. So inside of my SWOOD CAM tab, now under T6, if I expand it, I can see I have my roughing volume toolpath. Now the next thing that we're going to want to do is add in that three axis finishing, but first we have to create a knit surface. Now this is a requirement from SWID CAM, um, and even if you're only adding toolpath to one surface, you still have to create that knit. So from the top, underneath insert, I'm going to navigate down to surface, and I'll select knit. And I'm just going to select this top face of my part, and I'll press OK to create that knit. Now I'll navigate over back to my feature manager design tree and I don't want to actually select the feature I just created but I want to select the surface body so inside of the surface bodies folder and then same process as before I'm going to select 3D milling from this wood cam tab in the command manager. Now this time I'll select my spherical cutter and I'm going to set a finishing toolpath instead of roughing. I'll select add I'm going to update the direction of my path, so I'll change it to Y direction. And I can see here that I've got some surface extension on the front and back of 10 millimeters, which is good. I'll leave that as is. And I could adjust my, uh, my max scallop height as well if I wanted, but I'll just leave that as is and press OK. So now we can see that we've got that roughing toolpath, and we've also got our finishing toolpath. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add in a 5-axis edge follow for this surface here and for this surface here. 
This toolpath is going to require me to select the bottom edge. So I'll go ahead and do that now. And this time I'm going to select milling from my Swood Cam tab. I'll select my roughing tool, that end mill, and I'm going to select five axis edge follow, and I'll add that toolpath in. Now I just want to flip my uh, toolpath normal. So I'm going to select the second option along tangent one. And because this is an edge selection, I have to add some depth in here. So I'm going to update my profile depth to 70 millimeters and my max depth of cut as well. And I'll validate this toolpath. Now I can see under T6, I have my five axis edge follow. And I can see my depth of pass. The next toolpath that I'm going to add in is that other edge follow. So I'll select once again the bottom line in the profile, milling from my Swood Cam Command Manager. We'll use that same tool, our diameter 18 millimeter end mill, and the same operation selection as well. Now I'm just going to cycle through so that I have the correct orientation of my tool. And I want to cut on the edge of my tool so that looks good. And I'll go ahead and I'll validate that. So now I can see I have that 5-axis edge follow here and the five axis edge follow here as well. Now the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to simulate this toolpath with the removal of material. So from the very top of my program, I'll right click milling and I'll select simulate RM. And now to cycle through this fast, I'm going to right click once again milling from the top and I'm going to select result display. It's going to turbo through all of the tool paths. And next I'm going to choose to show my model. I'm going to hide my trajectory and my tools. And I'll go ahead and I'll select this middle button here, which is compare results with your model. And I can see, aside from the fact that I need to come in with a finer step over, um, and this is just some scrap here, but I can see that I've, I've cut all of the areas of my model. Uh, that brings us to the end of programming this part, so thank you so much for watching.